how to trigger a flat earther. Show them a photo. All it took was two ships and a camera. Hi there. I took this photo a few days ago which shows two large ships and one of them looks like it's sinking. I posted this on Twitter and it triggered quite a few flat earthers as usual who called me all kinds of ridiculous names. In fact, flat earthers always get triggered when I show them my photos of Earth. They're just photos, it's not my fault if they match the globe Earth model. Anyway, one of them informed me that I needed to zoom in further on the second ship and then I'll be able to see the whole ship. Luckily, I had already done that and was able to show him this photo. Still couldn't see more of the ship. I never did hear back from that guy. I got these photos while I was in Newcastle. It's one of the busiest ports in Australia. I had just enough time to spend about 20 minutes just on that spot right there, taking photos and videos of ships leaving and arriving in port. Here's one arriving, sitting really high up in the water. These ships are huge. Just look at how high they sit up out of the water when they're empty with no cargo. I've been up really close to a few of these ships while they're in port, unloaded, and they are massive, like a 10-story building. And then here's one leaving port, fully loaded and sitting really low in the water. It was fairly rough seas, but not too big. As I was filming this ship with the camera on the mini tripod, I noticed another ship approaching from the north, so I thought I'd see if the camera could see it, and yes, there it is. But something seems seriously wrong with this ship. It looks like a submarine. This ship is actually arriving to port, so it's not carrying a load, and would be sitting up high in the water, like this ship but its entire hull is being blocked by the horizon. Just the hulls of these ships from the waterline are over 30 to 40 feet high. I don't see how around six foot of ocean swell can possibly hide that much ship. I managed to get this little piece of footage, which I thought was pretty cool. Both ships passing each other. I'm probably at about 30 times zoom here, so it's a bit wobbly. I took the main image for this video from this footage just here. I thought this was pretty cool too. The ship that was in the distance is now further away and looks even lower over the horizon. All the ships that arrive at Newcastle Port have to anchor at sea for a while to wait their turn. And that's where this ship is heading. All right, numbers time. This is the main observation. We'll call this ship one and this ship two. I estimated the distance to ship 1 at around 5 kilometers, and the distance to ship 2 is around 20 kilometers. Ship 2 is our main focus here. The camera was around the 5 meter mark, or 15 feet, so on the curve calculator this gives us a target hidden height of around 11 meters, which is fairly consistent with the height of these ship's hulls when they're unloaded. I did compare this observation with both models, and surprise surprise, only one matched. The weather conditions weren't ideal for this observation, but I gotta take what I can get. It was still nice to sit at the beach for a few minutes. Now, it's Father's Day this weekend in Australia, and my wife and my son have gotten me an amazing new observation device for Father's Day. I'm so excited to use it. Thank you so much to both of them for getting it for me. I'll be able to get some incredible shots with it, so look out for that in future videos. Anyway, thanks heaps for watching, and see you all later.